Welcome to The Personal CFO. Today, I want to talk about investment returns in your retirement. And I think most people focus on the rate of return that you get on your investments. And what I want to talk about is something that's incredibly important and not the rate of return on your investment, but when you get the return on your investment. So when do you get positive returns? When do you get negative returns? can have a huge impact on the success of a retirement income plan. So I want to use an example. And this is starting with a million dollars and taking out $50,000 a year. And you can double these numbers, you can add a zero, you can do whatever you want to do, but the numbers stay the same or the outcome is the same. So starting with a million dollars, taking out $50,000 a year and adjusting it for inflation. So 50,000 is going to go up every year because things will cost more over time. I want to talk about two portfolios. Now, each of these portfolios have the same average rate of return at the end of 20 years. So each portfolio is going to average 6.3% over the next 20 years. Now, we're not here to discuss this 6.3% high or low. It's just, this is the rate of return, and we're gonna talk about the timing of returns and how it can impact the ending value of your portfolio. So in the first scenario, what we have is that retired family taking out $50,000 a year, increasing with inflation, and their returns look like this. So they average about 10%, and then at the end, they have some bad years towards the end of their retirement. And as you can see, their portfolio value starts at a million, it goes up, and they actually end with more than 30% more than they started with. So they start with a million, they're taking out money over time, and they end with over $1.3 million. So we start with an average rate of return that's pretty good, and we end with some bad years. Well, what happens if we switch those numbers? And instead of ending with bad years, we start with bad years in retirement. So those negative 15% numbers, what if we switch them and it happens at the beginning? So let's go back with that same million dollars, that same distribution rate. What happens when you have a few negative years at the beginning of retirement? Well, as you can see, rather than ending with a balance that's higher than you started with, you actually run out of money in less than 20 years. So tail of two portfolios next to each other, one you end up with substantially more than you started with, and the other you run out before even your 20 years is up. And what is the reason for this? It's called the sequence of returns risk. So the rate of return you get is important, but the time that you have those returns is incredibly important when you're pulling money out of your accounts. So as you're approaching retirement, what is incredibly important to think through is what am I going to do if the market goes down and I'm just starting my retirement? And the reason that you need to know that is you need to know where you're going to pull when the market goes down so that way you don't have this scenario because that's the reason that a million dollars drops so quickly is because you're pulling money out and you're selling when it's down, which is the opposite of what we should be doing, which is buy low, sell high, taking distributions out of a down portfolio causes us to effectively sell low, which can be catastrophic for a portfolio. So if you're approaching retirement or just getting started in retirement, make sure that you're protected from down years and you know where you're gonna get that money, have a written retirement income plan so you don't have to worry about being the portfolio that runs out and you know where you can get those funds so you have safe dollars that are always accessible, even in down markets, which always happen. So the rate of return that you get is important, but when you get those returns, especially as you approach and are in retirement, is just as important. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for investing your time at The Personal CFO.